we, we have to be very cautious as to what we're sharing um, in social media. You know, we're getting carried away uh, with putting things that are personal in nature. We need to understand that when your kids go to school, that first day of school, it's a very memorable day. But no, not everyone has to know what school they're going to go to. You take that photo of that young kid with the name of their school on their chest, and then you take a picture, another picture of a car with a partial license plate, maybe the whole license plate. So now you just gave them your name, address, your kid's name, what school he goes to. And unfortunately, some of these nefarious groups, that's what they do all day. How am I going to use what they're providing to me to be able to get money from them? And then there's the added pressure of somebody like in your position, right? You, you're, you're a public figure, you're, people know who you are by name. You have to put your face out there. So you have to be very cautious that you have to keep it separated. I tell this to real estate agents. Real estate agents, sometimes they have to go market their their, 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 their services via TikTok. Now we have TikTok and that's great. But when you start mixing it with your personal life, now you're putting yourself in a really bad situation, not only for scams, but we also have other people that get infatuated with people and then you have to carry mains and maybe a gun. So there is so many, so many things that could go wrong just merely because of what we're sharing on social media. So my my suggestion would be A, go to the security settings and if you have a thousand friends, you're lying. You don't have a thousand friends. You might have 20. So go start deleting some of the 900 and 950 friends that you have because they're not your friends. And then maybe you could have a public page and then a personal page, right? And be cautious. Then we start getting into the, you know, cyber enabled crimes you know, they have ex exit data, you know, take a picture, they geotag the picture and there's software that they could find out where you took that picture and pinpoint that it was in this house, in this room. So it gets really, really crazy and it's very, very scary. Uh, but unfortunately, there's bad people out there just looking for that information to try and get a dollar.